Some people drink it with food in the afternoon. Some people drink it to give themselves energy in the morning. Some people drink it as part of a ceremony. Some people drink it when they are sick. Some people drink it hot. Some people drink it very cold. People have been drinking it for hundreds of years in hundreds of countries. What is it? Tea. Tea comes from the Camomelia sinensis plant. People pick the leaves off the plant. They set the leaves to dry. The tea leaves are ready when all the water from the leaves is evaporated. There are many ways to prepare the leaves before making the tea drink. Some tea leaves are left open to the air before they are dried. This makes the leaves darker. They will taste stronger. Some people mix tea leaves with flowers, oils, and other plants to give teas different tastes. The people who originally discovered tea developed these methods many years ago. The story of tea begins in China. Chinese history says that over 5,000 years ago, Chinese Emperor Shen Nun discovered tea. Stories say that a dry leaf from the tea plant fell into the emperor's cup of hot water. The emperor saw that his water turned dark. He tasted the water and liked it. This was the first cup of tea. However, it started, tea became very popular in China. People believed that tea was healthy. People in China also created many different ways to prepare tea. In fact, a man named Liu wrote a book just about tea late in the 8th century. Shortly after this, tea traveled to Japan. Japanese Buddhist priests traveled to China. And they brought tea back with them. In Japan, people developed special ceremonies to serve tea. Serving tea became a new form of art. It was most common among wealthy people. Tea was an important part of both Chinese and Japanese culture. It had traveled to other Asian countries too. But tea had not yet traveled anywhere else in the world. Finally, in the late 1500s, Portuguese travelers brought small amounts of tea back to Europe. Portugal was one of the first European countries to trade with China. Portugal worked with the Netherlands to move the tea through Europe. Dutch ships took tea to France and other countries on the Baltic Sea. Only very wealthy people had enough money to drink tea in Europe. It took many months to transport the tea from Asia. And only a limited amount was transported. But more countries started to trade with China. They also brought tea back to Europe. Prices became lower, and more people could drink tea. Only very wealthy people had enough money to drink tea in Europe. It took many months to transport the tea from Asia. And only a limited amount was transported. But more countries started to trade with China. They also brought tea back to Europe. Prices became lower, and more people could drink tea. British colonists also brought tea wherever they settled. Tea became very important in India. 
It is still a very important crop there. An Indian tea is known around the world. Tea played an important part in one British colony you might know. This colony is now known as the United States of America. England sent tea to America. But as time went on, England raised the taxes on the tea and other goods it sent. The people living in the colonies did not like these taxes. To protest the high taxes, a group of colonists took a large shipment of tea and threw it into the ocean. Today, this event is known as the Boston Tea Party. It was one of the most important events in the American Revolution. Tea has also changed over many years. In the past, people drank tea by putting the leaves directly into the water. But around 1908, an American inventor developed a new method tea bags. Thomas Sullivan put the tea in a small silk bag. This bag of tea could be put directly into the hot water. At first, people in Britain did not like tea bags. But during World War II, people could not get their normal tea. So they had to use tea bags. Today, most tea bags are made of paper. And they are very popular in many parts of the world. Today, people on every continent drink tea. But people in different places drink tea differently. In the United Kingdom, tea became part of the daily meal. Traditionally, two meals involved tea in British homes. These meals became popular in the 1600s. The first was afternoon tea, or low tea. This was popular among wealthy people. They would drink tea and eat small sandwiches of meat and bread. This meal happened around three o'clock in the afternoon. The other meal was called high tea. High tea was a larger meal eaten later in the night. It was popular among poorer people. In Western Asia and the Middle East, a popular way to enjoy tea is as masala chai. Masala chai is a drink made from black tea. But this drink has sugar, spices, and milk in it. Around the world, people boil plants and flowers to make drinks similar to tea. These are called tisanes. A tisan is any drink made from hot water and any plant material, except from the tea plant. They are also often called herbal teas. In areas of South America, people enjoy a particular tisane. The drink is called mate. People make it from the leaves of the yerba mate plant. A person puts dry yerba mate leaves into a dry gourd. This is a container made from a dried vegetable skin. He then adds water to the gourd. He drinks the liquid through a thin metal tube, a bombilla. People in southern Africa make a drink called roibos. This hot drink is made similar to tea. But instead of tea leaves, it uses the leaves from the roibos plant. The drink is a red color and is often called red tea. However you're drinking tea, the next time you have a cup, think about all the people around the world who are joining you. Enjoy!
Do you drink tea? What kinds of tea do you drink? Tell us what you think. You can leave a comment on comment box.